What's poppin' Dax Squad? This your boy Side Type One. Nobody else said Tyler gonna react to top five craziest near death experience with kind of camera and a GoPro. I think I reacted to one of these type videos like a while back, but we're gonna take this out because I ain't got nothing to react to. I just reacted to a pretty boy Fredo drama. Girl, you funny as F, so we're gonna check this out. But if you enjoyed that, subscribe, and like, roast to that, and join the family. Comment down below what y'all want me to react to next. Let's get it. And, what? and it could be anything, it could be sports, it could be some scary shit, it could be music. What y'all really like react to music, because that shit get copyrighted a lot, but I'll do it if y'all want me to. But, and, yeah, it could be anything. Back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at the Top 5 Near Death Moments Caught on Camera Part 3. Part 3? Now, coming close to dying is something that could completely change a person and really make you think about how valuable life is. So today we're looking at 5 times where people literally almost died and captured it. So yeah, leave a like on the video right now for good oh, luck and hope you don't almost die soon too. But anyways, with that said, let's get right into the video. Number five. Now I've got to be honest with you guys. I don't know if this guy is stupidly brave or just plain stupid, but either way, stupidly he's super hard to brave. watch. Like he and his team have obviously been hired to wreck this wall, but I think he must be the newbie of the group because the way he tries to do it is a disaster waiting to happen. Yeah, what the fuck? I mean, he keeps knocking out the bricks along the bottom without getting rid of any on the top. So the more he does, the closer the wall is to coming down on top of him. Not just that, but he looks like he's doing it on purpose and he's planning to just jump out of the way when it collapses. So uh, yeah, obviously that's a ridiculously dangerous idea, but for some reason, no one else on his team tells him to stop. Like they all just sit back and watch while it gets closer and closer to falling. I mean, to be well, fair, he does survive when it finally collapses, but only just by a little bit. So I think he'll want to find a new job pretty soon. But damn, they ain't your real friends. They gonna just let you do some stupid shit like that. Oh shit! Oh shit! You deserve that shit. I didn't say he deserved it, but like, bro, that's stupid as fuck. You play with your life. Number or at least four. you would've got hurt. I so know. I have no idea how or why this actually happened, but that doesn't stop it from being completely terrifying. In fact, it's enough to make anyone rethink getting a motorbike. Yo, I'm not driving I mean, everybody a knows that bro. riding can be dangerous, but this quiet mountain road seems pretty chilled out, and when the accident finally happens, it comes motorcycle. completely out of nowhere. Like, the car in front of him slows down and stops, so he pulls up behind it to wait, and then all of a sudden, a truck flashes by and slams straight into the car. Now, thankfully, the biker avoids the crash, but only because he was just a tiny little bit off to the right. Like, if he was any more in the middle of the road, then it would have been a totally different story. Now, the good news is, it looks like everyone in the two vehicles okay. are fine, too, but the accident was still well, way too close for comfort. Why was I thinking of a truck truck? Like a truck, like a truck. Like a... Them big-ass trucks. Fuck. Oh, fuck. What the fuck was you on, bro? Why the fuck is he stopped? Wait, why is he stopped in the middle of the road? One. Why is that dude not paying attention? What are you texting? Number three. Okay, know. let's be Did real. Say, yeah, jumping in a attention. wingsuit is already one of the most dangerous things you could possibly do. What if you're one of the most daring wingsuit right? pilots in the whole world? Well, it turns out even professionals get it wrong sometimes, and professional flyer Jeb Corliss's mistake nearly cost him his life. Mm. Basically, he got so good at flying close to the mountains that he stopped being scared and pushed himself to get closer and closer to the side of the rocks. Bruh. This time, though, he dipped too low and crashed right into it, which sent mm. him spinning off the cliff and towards the water completely out of control. Now, thankfully, he didn't die, but he had to go through an insane amount of recovery and physical therapy, and he didn't get full control of his legs back until six months later. The really insane thing is, though, that it actually didn't even stop him from flying, and as soon as he was well enough, he was back in the air. Mm, what's I don't know, savage? I guess it just shows that if you're really obsessed with the sport, even nearly dying from it savage. isn't enough to put you off. Looks like you know you got some. Oh, oh. What the fuck is that balloon? Oh, impact. Oh. Oh. Damn. What? Didn't they fall into the water? Bro, <laughs> I thought you fell into the water. Oh shit! What's the point? Yeah, what's the point in what you do? And you know, I'm like, you know what? Good question. My window's open. It's hot as shit. Number outside. two. Oh, inside. So cliff jumping is obviously dangerous, but sometimes it's hard to forget just how much. And this clip is a pretty terrifying reminder of what can go wrong. 
Bro, I ain't doing none of this kids shit, bro. Teenagers taking the plunge all the time and like moving. The more I'm shows, not driving more like the first place, but that shit can happen. Scarier anymore. if you're not prepared. So yeah, so basically what happened was this diver had squeezed himself into a tiny gap in the rock, but before he could jump, it totally collapsed underneath him. Like part of the cliff crumbled off and fell into the water, which made him lose his balance, and he was forced to dive with no prep or ability to get into the right position. Damn, Daniel. It gets even worse though, because he actually pulled more cliffs off the rock Ooh. as he fell. So as he went through the air, the other rocks were falling down on top of him. It gets even worse though, because he actually even hit the cliff face and bounced off as he fell. So all in all, he must have been in pretty bad shape when he hit the water. In fact, if it wasn't for the other diver swimming towards him, there's no knowing what could have happened. Damn. He had his face on this shit. Why are you on such a thin ass cliff? Oh, he probably scraped this shit. Bounced his head off of what? Probably the big ass rock at the. Ooh. That shit's falling on him. Damn. Number one. Now I've said before that cliff jumping is already pretty crazy, but trust me, this guy takes it to a whole other level. I mean, not only did he decide to Actually, jump off high the insanely high fuck. mountain, oh hell no, nah, bro! Oh hell to the no, nah, bro! I'm cool, my life, bro. That shit crazy. This guy takes it to a whole other level. I mean, not only did he decide to jump off an insanely high mountain with nothing except a parachute, but he also decided that just wasn't enough and came up with a twist that I don't think anyone else would be brave enough to try. Basically, he rigged up a gymnastics bar on the very edge of the mountain and decided he would swing around it and somersault right off the edge. Sounds like an insane idea, right? Well, that's because it was, and it didn't actually work out the way he planned. Oh. I'm not even joking. The bar. You know, his life it, flashed well, right because it at was. this moment. He's like, oh shit, what the fuck? What do I do? It didn't actually work out the way he planned. I'm not even joking. The bar actually snapped when he put his weight on it, so he went flying off the edge of the mountain with literally no control at all and only survived because he didn't hit the rock. Like, it happens so fast that it's hard to process, but thankfully he managed to open his parachute. But if he had just been a little bit closer and hit the rock, then he definitely would have died. That shit higher than the motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> Everyone, they scared. They know they've got a stupid ass idea. And there's a video on the top five. Oh, that's gonna do it for that video. These boys are crazy. I don't do none of that shit. That motorcycle one is the only one that's like he couldn't really control. But other than that, if you enjoy, hit that subscribe and the like roll to that. Enjoy the family. Comment down below what y'all be reacting next. And I'm out. Let's get it.